Imagine not having the means to have your own Thanksgiving dinner. Today, around the coastal bend, hundreds of homeless people won't have to worry about that. Chris 6 News reporter Ashley Portillo has the story. Well, Sonia, today, homeless shelters like Mission 911 and the Salvation Army will be serving a Thanksgiving dinner to hundreds of homeless people. Now, dozens of volunteers are spending a part of their holiday to help feed those in need. The homeless population will be getting a full course meal from the turkey to the mashed potatoes and to the pies. The Salvation Army says they're expecting crowds of up to 500 people. This dinner, just one reason to be thankful today. So today I'll be visiting a few of those shelters and I'll have that full story for you tonight on Chris 6 News. Thanks a lot, Ashley. And Timmons Ministries is also helping those in need this holiday season. They're holding a Christmas tree auction to raise money for their ministry. Local organizations and businesses are being asked to donate a decorated Christmas tree, and those trees will then be auctioned off next week at Doc's Seafood and Steaks restaurant on Padre Island. And all the proceeds will go back to Timmons Ministries. That auction will be held on Wednesday, December 4th. The doors will open at 5 and the auction begins at 630. It will cost $25 to get in. And if you're going to the big Miller Vets Memorial playoff game tomorrow, CCISD police want to remind fans of some do's and don'ts. Outside food and drinks are not allowed in the stadium. The district's clear bag policy will be enforced, so if you are planning on bringing a bag, it must be clear. CCISD police will be keeping a watchful eye on traffic. The Sheriff's Department and the NJROTC students from the district will also be on hand to make sure everyone gets in and out of the stadium safely. With more than 10,000 fans expected for the big game tomorrow, traffic congestion and parking could become major headaches. And that's why the RTA is offering a free shuttle bus service. The buses will be picking people up at City Hall and dropping them off at Buck Stadium. The park and ride service will run from 11 a.m. tomorrow until about 7 o'clock or until the last riders are picked up. So what's the game day forecast looking like for tomorrow? Well, let's go ahead and get a quick peek from MacLovio Pettis. Hey, Mac. Well, thank you very much. Good noontime, everyone. As you can see, the cloud cover is still with us and it's going to be with us all day long. We're going to be on the cloudy and damp side. Now we're going to have a few periods of light rain that will be passing overhead, but none of it is expected to be significant or a problem. But our temperatures are going to actually be getting warmer, getting up to about 74 today and 76 tomorrow and then even warmer on Saturday. Coming up in a few moments, we'll have all your weather data coming up in just a few minutes. So right now we'll toss it back to Sonia. And also coming up on Chris 6 News at noon, we hear a lot about bipolar disorder, but what exactly is it? You'll hear from one patient after the break.
6 weather is brought to you by Alan Samuels Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Aransas Pass. Come by. Let's be friends. Now, the most accurate forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Maclovio Perez. Well, happy Thanksgiving to all of you today. Hope you have a great time at home visiting or just uh, hanging out with the family. Uh, we've got a fairly quiet day. I mean, we've got cloud cover and a little light rain, but considering what's going on in the rest of the country, we're very quiet. Uh, you see, we've had a little light rain pattern that uh, occurred overnight and it's still going to be continuing. So we'll have a little bit of uh, overcast skies with a little light rain for today and tomorrow. But uh, in North Texas, they had a big rainstorm that came through the Dallas area. That is now moving up into Oklahoma. And we're watching to the west because we've got a lot of weather coming at us from the west coast. There you can see the activity that uh, basically all of it north of us, but you will see sprinkles on and off during the day caused by that area of low pressure. That is what's lifting the atmosphere just enough to get us this little sprinkle activity. Well, here's what we've got out to the west. This is a very powerful storm uh, coming out of the southwest and it's going to merge with this one out in California and both of them are going to be a huge problem. If you are traveling over the next five days, you're really going to have to look to see where that storm is because it's going to have a lot to do with uh, travel across the country. Let me give you the future tracker for the short term. We're going to be on the overcast side into the 70s today. Tomorrow we'll still be on the overcast, but the low is actually pulling away and a warm front is coming up. So we'll be in the mid 70s tomorrow uh, for the game. And then by Saturday we get up to the 80s. Now that is all going to change on uh, Sunday when this frontal system comes through and figures all that out. Now, on the big picture, got to show you this because it's going to affect a lot of people. This storm in New York is going to move away. For the West Coast and for the Southwest, it's going to be very active. This is a very powerful storm that's going to affect a lot of states with wind and rain and snow. Now, as you can see it there on Friday by uh, Saturday, it pulls out into the plains as a full-blown blizzard. Then the blizzard goes over Chicago, and you'd think it moved to Canada, but it's actually going to drop down into New York City and park itself on Monday off the East Coast as a nor'easter. This is one of those big storms that's going to go from coast to coast, and uh, Somehow, if you're flying, you're going to deal with that because air traffic, I'm sure, is going to be disturbed by that. For us here in the Coastal Bend, like I said at the beginning, we're going to have some fairly quiet weather. We've got a little overcast and a sprinkle or two possible tonight and again tomorrow. Today, we'll get up to 74. Have a great uh, Thanksgiving day. Tomorrow for football, looking good. Now, there may be a sprinkle or two in the stands, but I don't think you'll get a washout. And uh, we are getting up to 76 degrees, so that's not bad. Maybe a little sun on Saturday when we get up into the 80s, but the next front drops our temperature on Sunday. It'll be clearing and cooler for the early part of next week's. That's your seven-day forecast brought to you by Alan Samuels. Thanks a lot, Mac. And with the kids on holiday break, and it can be tempting to let the kids spend some extra time in front of the TV or some other kind of smart device. Our Shelby Coppage interviewed a local doctor who has some advice for parents. Sonia, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends no screen time at all for children under 18 months of age. It says to only allow children between two to five one hour of screen time a day, but doctors say that recommendation is being surpassed. We'll tell you the effect too much screen time can have on your child's brain tonight here on Chris 6 News. Sonia. Thanks a lot, Shelby. So we've all heard the word bipolar, but do we really know what it means? Haley Pilot talks to a Florida doctor and a patient who hope they can help by explaining the complex and misunderstood disorder. Psychiatrist Dr. Andrew Cutler says bipolar one disorder is not only chronic, but unpredictable. Highs and low mood swings, and these we call uh, mania and depression, and these episodes can last for days to months. But says it's usually hard to diagnose. The problem with the depressive symptoms is they can be confused with another disorder called major depressive disorder. Characterized by low energy and a hopeless or sad mood, but the manic symptoms of bipolar make it unique. Racing thoughts, decreased need for sleep, abnormally high energy, 
and some behaviors that show poor judgment like spending sprees or reckless driving. Matt has bipolar 1 depression and has felt both ends of the spectrum. It took me 25 years to get a diagnosis. Dr. Cutler says the condition typically starts in the teenage years or early 20s. Matt says he was 13 or 14 when symptoms appeared. For me, the depression side of this disease is what showed its head first. He knew something wasn't right. I didn't know that me staying up all night and cleaning the house or watching TV all night was a manic episode. So I would be depressed and still be up like that for days on end. But after finally getting the proper diagnosis, medication, and therapy. I'm able to, you know, cut the grass. I'm able to take my kids to the bus stop in the morning. He says things aren't perfect, but much better than before his diagnosis. And says if you're experiencing similar symptoms, be honest with your doctor. Tell the truth. Don't be afraid because all it does is just hold you back even more. There are currently several medications available to treat bipolar one. Are you ready for the Black Friday holiday shopping madness? Well, guess what? You don't have to wait until tomorrow to find super deals. We'll explain when we come back. Chris 6 News at noon continues. After the Thanksgiving feast comes the shopping. And for those who want to get a jump on the Black Friday bargains, there are deals underway right now. And you don't even need to leave home for many of them. Jolene Kent shows you some of the best deals you can get right now. An estimated 56% of American shoppers have already started on their holiday purchases. If you aren't one of them, today may be the day to make your move. Right after today's Thanksgiving dinner, major retailers like Best Buy, Target, Kohl's, and Macy's open their doors to shoppers at 5 p.m. And Walmart kicks off its Black Friday deals at 6 today and stays open through Black Friday tomorrow. Are the deals the same online as in person here at the store? They absolutely are the same online as they are in store. Now, occasionally online we'll sell out of them and then people will come to the stores to find, uh, find the next batch, but the deals are the same in either, either channel. With deep discounts of up to 50% off available now on electronics, TVs, computers, and smartphones will likely sell out fast. Target is offering Black Friday prices on the LG 65-inch smart TV, regularly priced at $700, now for less than $500. You can buy online and pick it up at a local store between bites of leftover turkey. At Walmart, they're offering a deal on Dell 15-inch laptops. The discounted price? $500 down from $700, and along with the $200 savings, free two-day delivery. What's the best thing to buy on this holiday shopping weekend? Consumer electronics would be the way to go because you can <laughs> knock off everyone on your list if you want. <laughs> yeah. But there really isn't anything to avoid. It's a great time to shop. 
Amazon is rolling out Black Friday deals by the minute. Some of the best prices, 50 to 60 percent off some printers and 45 percent off streaming devices. One of Best Buy's steepest doorbusters, $500 off a Canon DSLR camera and 350 bucks off a Samsung 70 inch 4K smart TV coming in at 550 plus free next day delivery. What was used to be just Black Friday, now it's become yeah. Thanksgiving into Black Friday. Yeah. And you see how much joy people have. Something to be thankful for now through Cyber Monday. So it turns out you might not get the best deals on everything this Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Shopping pros are saying hold off on most toys, bedding and fitness equipment, also furniture. A lot of that will be priced even lower as we get closer to the end of the year, especially in January. The Denver area has been getting some pretty heavy snowfall this week, but where some people see a giant mess, one Denver man sees hidden works of art. We'll show you what he's created when we come back. Chris 6 News at noon continues. Some residents in Colorado will be spending their Thanksgiving digging their way out of several inches of snow. But one Denver man has decided to turn that snow into art. Keegan Harsha has the story. Way up in the sky with my, in my beautiful balloon. On a windy cold day when most neighbors are busy shoveling out, David Hewn is digging in. I heard the reports and it's like, okay, well, I got to think big. The snow is the substitute teacher's canvas. I don't think we do enough artistic stuff in life. We, we try and leave that for the professionals. A pop-up art gallery that's captivated this neighborhood for the past six years. Travel for miles around and see what the, the master is up to. Hewn doesn't profess to be an artist. His work is more of a creative outlet. I started about eight this morning. This took about six hours, I think, to, to make. He estimates he's made about 60 of these sculptures over the past five years, each accompanied by a pun. My students have been gun accusing me of using dad jokes. <laughs> sure, some of his humor is up for debate. It's cringeworthy sometimes, but, but it, it also makes me chuckle. But no one can forget the frog, the parade of elephants, or even last week's turkey. Cold turkey. 
And Hune still gets a chuckle out of to know me is to love me. I've known he's different since I married him. My wife sometimes looks askance at the time I spend out here. Only Mother Nature knows how many sculptures he'll create this year. 2018 was a doozy. I kept doing uh, sculptures at the end that were themed around the end of winter. And then again, the end of winter. And then again, the end of winter. <laughs> but whether it's 20 inches of snow or one, this is where you'll find him. Transforming snow. Let's see. Into neighborhood works of art. He's got the child in him. What can I say? What a cool guy. We'll be right back with a final look at the forecast, plus a preview of what's ahead later today on Chris 6 News. We've got more news coming up later today. Here's a look at what we're working on. Coming up at 5, we'll show you how the homeless and those who helped them celebrated this Thanksgiving. And at 6, Black Friday bargain hunters are ready to hit the ground running. Those stories and much more later today right here on Chris 6 News. We don't expect a lot of sunshine over the coastal bend today. It'll be overcast with a few periods of light rain or drizzle. I wouldn't call it a rain out, but it may be damp out there. Otherwise, the temperatures are fairly mild. 74 is our forecast high. Tomorrow for the big football game, we're looking for a 76 as a high temperature. Still in the overcast and a few sprinkles possible. Little sun on Saturday and then cooler early next week. Your seven day forecast brought to you by Alan Samuels in Aransas Pass. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you so much for joining us on this Thanksgiving Thursday. And of course, we hope you'll join us again back here at 5. See you soon. Chris 6 News is a presentation of Chris Communications, the Coastal Bend's most watched source for local news.
Memory, David. Look at this face. There were lots of ahs being echoed. A fan favorite everywhere, one of the most popular breeds, but look at how beautiful this dog is. Beautiful people breed. Uh, the gentleman's hunting dog, really. It can be a, a variety of colors from kind of a pale gold to a dark red. Doesn't win best in show, though, does it? We're, uh, when that happens, we're going uh, <laughs> to... It's, it's the Susan Lucci of the dog show <laughs> world. I think Susan waited 19 years for her Emmy. We're going to be all over the Today Show when a Golden wins best in show. This is Daniel. This is a perfect pet, though. Lively and positive. Daniel just won their national specialty. He won 19 bests and 26 specialty bests. I read somewhere that they live every day like they just discovered a pool filled of tennis balls and bacon. <laughs> Totally devoted to their people. Also great sibling pets. They get along with every living creature, even cats. Make some great therapy dogs as well. There's a contemplative pose. More with the sporting group next. This is Apple Card, a new kind of credit card. Created by Apple, not a bank. With a better way to track where you spend. A new level of privacy and security. Daily cash you get back every day. And no fees, not even hidden ones. Oh, and if you happen to be somewhere that doesn't accept Apple Pay yet, there's this. Nice. At ProPlan, we believe nutrition is full of possibilities to improve your pet's life. We're redefining what nutrition can do because the possibility of a longer life and a healthy life is the greatest possibility of all. Purina ProPlan, nutrition that performs. Love Disney's Frozen 2? Then you'll love listening to exclusive Frozen stories on Home Mini. Just say, hey Google, tell me a Frozen story, and they will. Come sit down with me and my friends by the fire. Yep, the gang's all here on Home Mini from Google. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Jenny, come here, check this out. You see? <laughs> <laughs> she looks kind of like me. Yeah, well, yeah. it's because it's your grandma when she was your age. Oh, wow, that's that's amazing. Oh, and she was on the debate team. Yeah, that's probably why you're the debate queen. Mm -hmm. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. Look at that smile. I have the same dimples as her. Yeah. <laughs> the same placements and everything. Unbelievable. Make Kohl's Black Friday your first stop. Get $15 Kohl's cash for every $50 spent. Plus, take an extra 15% off. Save on diamond bracelets. Tops for her, $8.49 and under. And this Fitbit is just $16.99. Stores open Thursday at 5 p.m. Kohl's. Hey, what's wrong, boy? What you doing? Oh, no. When pets get diarrhea, reach for Fortiflora, the number one probiotic recommended by veterinarians. Keep it on hand. Crafting competition? Yes, season two. Welcome to Making It! it. Give it all you've got. Looks like you ain't doing so, Vellum. You feel ready to tie-dye? I love a hot dog. Is that a snack or a craft? <laughs> That's a craft! There are dogs we celebrate for their regal bearing, their grace and elegance and air of nobility. But we also adore the Labrador. I mean, what's better than a Labrador Retriever? And why don't they win best in show every time? So Labradorians, we hear you, and we know what you want. We've got to do a lab experiment. So Ruth Ann Freer Godfrey just judged the labs. Why don't they win best in show? They're a utilitarian breed. They're a functional breed. They don't have all the flash and hair flying and moving fast. They're a very steady, easy-going dog, whether they're in the field or whether they're in the show ring. It seems like they were, more than anything, they were bred to please. Yes, absolutely. And that's why they've been the number one breed for 27 years. Do you think they mind that they don't ever win best in show? No, they, they just like the food. <laughs> So labs tend not to win best in show. Do you think they really care at the end of the day? As long as you're happy with them and you love them, I don't think they care in the least. <laughs> Are we ever going to see one win best in show? 
Well, one can hope. It's got to be the right lineup of judges who's going to appreciate the breed and reward them. So if they don't win Best in Show, what should they win? Their first place in everybody's hearts, that's for sure. I believe that. Okay, Bestie, I know you can do it. Here's the grand prize. Best in show. You can do this. You're a retriever. Fetch, Bestie. Fetch. <laughs> oh, very funny. Very I love good. that she's doing the piece on Labradors wearing a lab coat. <laughs> When a dog wears, wags its tail, it's attached to its heart. And here's the best reason. Number one dog registry in the country, the Labrador Retriever. Here's Coda, a two-year-old male handled by Adam Bernardin. Which beautiful, with beautiful teeth, I might add. <laughs> Jeffrey, New Hampshire dog. I uh, like to think of Labradors as the ultimate hold-my-beer dog. <laughs> they want to be everywhere and do everything. Somebody once asked me, don't you wish they could talk?